In this video, Ruben and I are going to show you how to build this nifty DIY wine bottle stand. Let's get to it. Okay, so material wise for this project, this is very simple and very easy. The first, I'm just taking a rectangular piece of wood, whatever wood you prefer, whether it's hardwood, softwood, uh, no, plywood, anything of the sort. This is a piece of pine. I've cut it at about 40 centimeters by 20 centimeters, a rectangular piece. Thereafter, I've got two pieces of uh, wooden plank like this. This is the same as the base. It's also pine wood. Now, this was cut to more or less the same length, almost. This is about 35 centimeters by 10 centimeters wide. Now, the width of these planks has got a lot to do with the width of the bottles that you're going to use because obviously you want the bottles not to be wider, preferably than the plank. They can be, but to make it a bit more steady, this is the width um, or a slight bit wider than the width of the bottles. So I took two of these, um, the same size, and then only at the two ends, I cut 45 degree angles in both bottom ends. Now the reason or the purpose of the 45 degree angles are almost self-explanatory, but let's quickly have a little demonstration here. Ruben, would you hold on to those two for me, please? These would be more or less in the middle of the plank, about almost a third of the length of the plank from the bottom. They will be crossing each other. Now, this is just let like me quickly, thanks. Um, at the crossing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole into each of them where they're going to be stashed um, against each other and then I'm going to put a dowel, a piece of dowel stick in those holes just to give it some extra support and glue it to place so that when this is mounted, thanks Ruben, on, you can hold on to it, thank you, um, when it's glued like that, it's glued in the middle where the dowel is and then at the base, both sides, I'm going to use some wood glue and screws from the bottom on out to screw this to the base and wait for it to dry. Then this would be fairly solid and, in, and, and steady. Thanks, Ruben. Now, for the wine bottle part, what I plan on doing is to drill three holes into each of these, um, starting from the top and spacing them evenly um, according to the size of the bottles. Now, the holes would be the size, more or less, of the bottlenecks. So the bottlenecks can just fit comfortably through the holes with your wine bottles or whatever bottles you plan on putting on the stand. So there's going to be three holes on this one, three holes on that one, uh, slightly bigger than the next of the bottles. This is going to be mounted on the base like this, like we've showed previously. Will you hold on for me again, please, Ruben? Thank you. And then obviously, the final result will be something like this, with the bottles being placed in this, three on each side, three on this side, and then also three on the other side like this, in the holes, and they would be held in place by hanging on their necks, almost to say. And that is the whole idea. So let me start cutting the holes into these planks, start putting the dowels in there, putting the wood glue in place, rounding over the edges, making it look nice. And then for decorative purposes, um, I've got something else in mind this time, but we'll get to that after the fabrication is done. So let me start fabricating and we'll be right back. Well, now that I've done a lot of the preparation, let's quickly go through the rest of the setup again. Now, at the bottom, we've got the base. Now, the two pieces of uh, the angled 
uh, uprights that I'm making for the bottles to hold them. I've already cut the 45 degree angles on the bottom. I've now drilled three holes according to more or less slightly bigger than the neck size of the bottles, um, average bottles that I want to use. And then on the sides, on equal lengths on the two planks, I drilled a hole big enough for a dial stick like this. And then the main idea is just to put the dial sticks in between and this would be basically a support when I mount this on the stand like this, which would be quite a simple mounting like this, not complicated at all. And then from the bottom, I would drill holes in the bottom plate and I would attach the bottom of these uprights to the base with some self-tapping screws like this and obviously some wood glue. I would also be putting some glue in between these two planks where the dial stick is joined. Um, so that it's also being held together and supported quite nice. Well, here we have the, the result, more or less, of this whole thing put together. Like you can see, I've used slightly different shaped bottles. They've got different neck thicknesses of the bottles as well. And they still all do fit. They, this the stand is pretty, pretty steady. I can knock it around a bit. And nothing is going to fall out or fall over of any sort of that. That's on the one side now. And if we turn it around like this, it's nice to turn it around. You can see three more bottles on the other side um, with the same effect. Um, the different bottles of different shapes more or less different neck thicknesses and they're all very steady still the stand uh, is very steady so that's not a concern of mine now with finishing touches i did um, only the edges of the uprights i put them all a uh, slight chamfer 45 degrees um, just to make them look a bit nicer as well as the base as well i put a slight chamfer 45 degrees all round except on the inside of these where the two uprights go together like this on the insides, I didn't chamfer them and left them only flat. Now, what you can do with this, if you want to keep the natural wood look, you can only give this a light varnish, um, which will bring out the nice wooden pattern very good. You can also stain this, paint it, whichever suits your taste or your surroundings where you're going to be putting this thing. It's a nice and compact uh, little stand and um, gives some height to the bottles and gives them some character as well. A very nice display model as well. Now what I'm going to do for decorations is something a slight bit different. I'm going to give the wood a light burn over the top so it gives it a bit more of a rustic look and then over the burn I'm going to give it a slight coat of varnish and uh, we'll see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like after it's been burned a slight bit, a light burn coat. We've burned it at the bottom end, just not on the base plate, that was not necessary. But anyway, now uh, visible to the naked eye, I give it a slight burn. Now the idea here after is I'm going to give it a slight coat of varnish just to uh, bring out the look of the wood and the burnish a slight bit more. And then also to protect this uh, burn effect so it doesn't wear off or make anything um, the black smoke effect comes on onto anything that touches it. So let me quickly give that a, a light coat of varnish and then we'll put the bottles back on and see what it looks like, the end result. This is the end result. 
the, like you can see, it's still got all the burning marks on it. And I've coated it with a light coat of varnish. So it brings out the color a bit more. It's not shiny. It's like a, a bit more of a satin finish. Um, but yes, the, the color is of the wood and the burning effect is coming up a bit more. It looks quite nice. Um, but once again, you can, you can decorate this in any way that you please. So let us load this up with a couple of different bottles like this, different shapes, different, you'll see the neck sizes of various bottle diff, bottles differ, differ. So we're going to put some of them in there. We're going to put some in the back here as well, like this. Different neck sizes, different shapes and sizes of the bottlenecks. Different bottle sizes, square, round ones. And there you see a nice steady stand, which is quite nice looking. We can turn this around. Like you see, I can pick this up on the stand on its own or by itself. And, uh, and look, it's very steady, looking nice. I mean, look at the, you saw the bottle standing here on my side beforehand, and this just presents so much nicer than a bunch of bottles standing there. And uh, you can put this anywhere on a bar like this. You can put it in your storage cabinet or your liquor cabinet, whichever you want, any type of bottles that will fit in there, you can make fit. Now, this looks very nice. I like it, and I'm sure you do too. And once again, this is something very easy and simple to build with all your offcut and your scrap pieces of wood. Very effective. You can sell this, you can make it for yourself, you can use it as gifts or give it as gifts. So if you do like this video and you like the ideas, be sure to comment in this comment section below. And also, if you wish to support my channel, please have a look at the super thanks icon down below as well. Until next time, thank you very much, guys.